Hey, what's up, people? It is so great to have you guys here. If that video brought back memories, you must have been with us in Abu Dhabi. If it didn't, I'm sure you're going to be with us in Russia, Kazan, in the next uh, year from now. Yeah. My name is Yusuf Omar. I am a mobile journalist. I've been doing this for 10 years, creating, editing, shooting videos with your mobile phone. And I'm Samaya, and we together have co founded Hashtag Our Stories, and we train communities and people around the world to tell stories using just their mobile phones to edit, to shoot, to produce, to engage everything using the mobile phone. And today we're going to be doing a Hashtag Skills Change Lives workshop looking at how your mobile phone really is an atomic agent of change to enable you to tell stories using your mobile device. Uh, we are in, I'm going to show you exactly where we are, and then you guys can give me an idea of where you guys are in the world. Yeah, tell us where you guys are. I am. Um, got my mobile phone on this side of the screen. I'm going to look out over the window, and I am in Durban, South Africa. That is the Indian Ocean, and it's a beautiful, beautiful view today. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments section where you are. Let us know what kind of a space you're in. Uh, this is my uh, sort of residence whenever we're in South Africa, <laughs> which is not very often. Uh, but as you can see, we've got a little beautiful mural behind us. Uh, and yeah, tell us where you are. We are going to be looking at Mojo, mobile storytelling. But I want to start uh, with a quick introduction from Crispin. Uh, Crispin is the director of communications for World Skills. Uh, if there's anybody who knows what we're doing and why we're doing it, it's Crispin. Here we go. Hello from Abu Dhabi. I'm Crispin Thorold. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for World Skills. Thank you so much for joining this. The second session, training session that we're going to have. You're in for a treat. Um, Yusuf and Samaya are amazing trainers. It's really dynamic, it's really innovative, and it's a really interesting session. And I hope that you all take a lot from it. Um, I'm in Abu Dhabi. I can't speak to you live from Abu Dhabi. Facebook book is blocked live but I'll be following the session and I'll be contributing throughout before you get going I wanted to say a couple of kind of boring corporate things one of the reasons we're doing this is we're about to relaunch our brand and there are a few key points that we should make at the start of this session we're going to be talking a lot more about young people um, about the difference that skills make to young people and also enabling young people to be our spokespeople around the world. We're also going to talk a lot about how skills change lives, and I'd like you to think about that throughout this session. How can you demonstrate how your skill has changed your life or how the champions and competitors in your country are having their lives changed by skills? And finally, this is part of our new role as enablers. Uh, it's just Shauna and I in the marketing and communications team in World Skills International, just two of us throughout the world. But what we're going to try and do a lot more of in the coming months and years is enabling all of you out there in your home countries and wherever you travel to do marketing and communications on behalf of your organizations, but also on behalf of World Skills International. So thanks so much for joining us. Have a great training session. And um, we look forward to seeing all your videos in the coming weeks. And that was a word from Crispin. But I also want to have a chat to Shauna. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop open the uh, old messenger. I'm going to get in touch with Shauna directly and pop her a little call. Let's see if she's on the line. By the way, how amazing it is that the World Skills Marketing Team is like uh, is like Shona and Kristen? It is and it isn't two people because effectively, yeah. Shona, if I understand correctly, the marketing team is officially two, but it's also a couple of thousand when you take into account every single person that's part of the World Skills family. Exactly, and that's why we're undergoing this training. Training. We want to mobilize the world to talk about world skills and how skills change lives. Absolutely. Why is mobile storytelling such a big part of it? Because I mean, I see you guys have all of the big professional cameras. You've got drones in the sky. What on earth can a mobile phone offer you? Well, we have all access to amazing resources during the competition when we're centralized and we're all together as a movement in one place. But the World Skills Movement and the Skills Movement is happening every day in every location around the world. And mobile journalism gives us the chance to give the tools to the people on the ground and make it happen. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen Instagram TV has launched. 
the social media landscape is changing incredibly fast. And there's so many platforms, whether you say YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Where are your priorities right now? What's on the top of your mind right now when you think of where you want to see world skills? Right now, our current largest base is on Facebook, but we really want to expand into Instagram. That definitely is a growing market where youth are, and we want youth and youth stories on a platform that works best for them. Absolutely. You've been with us for the last two days doing a bit of training. Uh, what kind of suggestions do you think the guys should come into this uh, into the session? What should they keep in mind? Oh, today what I what I want to challenge people to do is to take it all in, look at all of the suggestions that you have, and then go back and rewatch the videos because there's so much good content in all of those. Videos. So even if this one, you want to because there's lots of great content and different ideas based on the questions that are asked within each session. Yeah, we've had highly engaged groups. This is not a speech. It's a two-way flow. So do ask con uh, questions in the comments section. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. And Bye, we'll see Shana. you in the comments section. Great. Thanks. See you soon. Cool. So as you guys heard, this is an engaging session. It's about you guys getting involved in the comments section below. We're going to break into the practical stuff really quickly uh, because we want to give enough time for you guys to ask the questions that you need to ask. So we're going to start with, uh, what are we starting with? With the triangle. We're going to start with our content triangle. And this really lists the different kinds of video that we will be looking at today and where they fit into this puzzle. I want you guys to start thinking in terms of derivative content strategies. As we just heard from Shauna, there's so many different types of video today. There is live video, there's uh, Instagram stories, there is conventional YouTube style video. I say conventional because the internet's been around that long that we can call a platform from conventional uh, and within each of those we've got different ways of telling stories so we're going to explore uh, a few of those and we're going to look at different ways that we can tell stories within them so if we look at that uh, pyramid on the left for us the highest return on investment the most uh, views and shares and comments that we can get for the least amount of work is in fact live format so the live type of video is going to be the dominant type of social media that we are going to look at today. We're going to look at how you can create live videos. So that's at the base of our triangle. That's what. That's where we start. That's the foundation. Yeah. So imagine for you, for me, if you will, if you have a landscape where you're every time you are creating something about your skills, every time you're producing a bit of video, you take it live. That becomes your new camera roll. You don't think about recording to the camera roll. You think about going live every time you have something to say. And it's really easy. All it is is basically clicking the live button, and we'll show you guys a few tips, uh, trips and tips and tricks as we well. Go. But it's all about just a really easy tool, and it's highly prioritized on all of the all of the platforms. But it doesn't stop there. From the live video, you then take that piece of content and you turn it into a little stories format, which will go on social media, which will go on Instagram stories, Facebook stories, maybe Snapchat, maybe. Uh, even LinkedIn, I've got LinkedIn Reels, which is a type of stories format. Even of course, Airbnb, Airbnb, Airbnb of a stories format, or Instagram like, TV is the latest yeah. stories type of format. Vertical, clickable, uh, short form content. So taking your live video, which may be an hour long, turning it into a shorter stories format. Cool. From there, we go to what we call Quick, Q U I K, missing the C because that's the name of the app. And that's something that your, your, your cohort, your colleagues have really enjoyed over the last few days. Yeah. That's being able to take your live video, your stories format, put them together, and create a really short little video uh, that's going to live on Twitter, it's going to live on Facebook. 30 seconds to a minute long, it's square. It can easily go up onto an Instagram post. That is the quick video. Wow, we have people watching from everywhere, from Canada, from uh, Abu Dhabi, from Sweden. That's awesome. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, and then, of course, right at the top of the pyramid, we start getting into the mojo, the little one-minute, really well-produced video, which is a compilation of all of those formats that have got us to that point, right from the bottom up. Um, should we start with the lives? Or should, let's start with. We'll I start with some mojo one on ones, I suppose. Or you want to go in with lives? I think let's go. Let's start right at the bottom of the triangle, and we'll work our way. We mix it up every time, depending on, on what worked yeah. last, what's working next. Uh, it's constantly adjusting as uh, as we hear feedback from people as to what works well. And in the comment section, let us know um, what kind of lives you guys have already done, um, the, the stuff that you want to know about lives as well. OK, cool. So we have effectively 
10 tips for doing good live videos. Um, if it's okay with you, Samir, can we try something more creative? Okay. I want to try doing a live video on, on Instagram. A on a live, a live within a live right now. That's so meta. Let's see how this works. Okay, uh, so Yusuf is on Instagram. I'm on Insta. I'm going to swipe to the right. I'm going to go uh, to lives and I'm going to start a live. If you guys have a phone and a, uh, if you have a phone and a laptop, you can watch this section on the laptop and on the phone you can watch the live use of Omar SA and we're going to try this out right now. So I'm going to go live. I'm going to leave you here today. I'm going outside. Uh, I'm going to do this from the balcony and you're going to pull up the live. As it seems like. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. So I'm going live. Okay. I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see full screen. And it is connecting as we speak. Still connecting. Okay, we're live. Hey guys, it's me on Instagram. I'm talking to a group of people who are on World Skill, which is the lift of tips for live video and uh, Smear is on the main channel uh, we are outside now in a balcony overlooking this incredible view as you can see and this is really a two screen experience um, so top 10 tips for live video the first tip that we have is create suspense Suspense is when even the audience doesn't know what's going to happen next. There's an A and a B. There's two possible pathways where that piece of content can end. Right now, I am in my uh, apartment. I see my uh, family watching sports. They're watching the football live. Why do we watch live sports? Why are we watching this game play out? Australia versus Denmark live right now. And it's very, very simple because even the people that are filming this game, even the film crews, the operators, the television stations, the people that are watching it like this, uh, where's my dad and my grandma, both of these people, they don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know who's going to win or lose this game. There's two possible outcomes of this match. And that's why people watch content live because they don't know what's going to happen next. There's an A or a B. There's two different pathways of which that can go. And it's the same thing when we think of a live video. We need to have two different scenarios where A or B, two different possibilities, what could play out and how that live could end. So very, very important in any live context to think about suspense. Can you build suspense into your narrative? Can you build the ability for there to be two possible scenarios for how that live can play out, uh, how that content can go down it's incredibly, incredibly important when thinking about live video. The second principle is engage. The comment section. Hey, Samaya. Hey, Yusuf. This is exactly what we're talking about. It's one option where you can have engagement. You can bring your audience into the conversation. You can have them tuning in. Uh, so engagement really means at the very basic uh, line, uh, having a form where maybe you want to leave go further away from the computer so you don't get the yep. echo. Go further away from the computer so you don't get the echo. Yep. Uh, you want to have a scenario where potentially uh, your audience can ask questions to you while you're live. They can determine and steer where that narrative goes. Engagement is a really, really important second part of the experiment. So suspense being the most important part of live broadcast, engagement being the second most important part of the, a live broadcast. I'm going to hand back hey, in to hey. our We're back in. To What's the third pointer? Come, Get in, come in, come in, come in. Getting out of the studio. And the hey, fact Samaya. that we're on hey, a mobile device means in. we can What's be mobile. mobile. We can walk Get around. We can do the live broadcast and a whole bunch of things. The fact that we're on a mobile device means mobile. We can walk around. We can do the live broadcast in a whole bunch of spaces. You don't need to be in a studio set when doing live broadcast. You can be all over the place. Exactly as I am now, I'm taking you around from room to room. And if you're in the world skills context, you could be going from studio to studio. I could be showing you the back. I could be saying, hey, this is Durban, South Africa. This is the location that we're at. So you can really appreciate getting out of the studio completely. 
The next point that we want to tell you is changing the format. If you want to do good live broadcasts, you need to fundamentally change the format. This is not television, so why do we treat it like it is? We can adjust it. We can do the entire thing, walking and talking, and giving you different landscapes and showing you different places and panning around and doing everything vertical and using your hands if necessary. Uh, you can change the format. I don't want to see two anchors sitting there delivering the content. We can do something radically, 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 radically different. The next point is good internet. Can't emphasize this enough. You've got to have good internet to do a good live crossing. Of course, you could do that with, for example, uh, Wi-Fi. You could do that with 4G. There's also a clever little setting in iOS. It's called um, Wi-Fi Assist. It's in your cellular settings. So now I can jump over and show you what it looks like. Uh, but effectively, if you go to Wi-Fi Assist and you click that button, you can take the very best of either your internet or your 4G, depending on which one is performing better at that specific time. So Wi-Fi Assist is another really great tip. Adding text is important too. On a normal Facebook video, 70% of the audience are not listening to the audio. On a live video, as high as 90% are not listening to the audio. So you need to add text. That could mean using big boards and signs and these kinds of things, or it could mean effectively going into the uh, editing software afterwards. So you upload the video onto Facebook, you go into the video library, you hit edit, and you say auto-generate SRT subtitles, and you can add subtitles to your video. Really, really easy to do. The next is timing. Normally, video should be short. One minute, tell any story really quickly. But on a live broadcast, at a very, very, very minimum, I think we want to see at least 10 minutes. We want to give our audience an opportunity to come, to join us, to get involved. So timing is very, very, very important. Go long, absolutely important. And finally, if not last, uh, obviously, very careful. Sure audience, I'm dealing with potentially matters. Get them dealing with the situation that's potentially and dangerous that's in the workshop or in an environment. Live um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are back in our studio. And we're about to take the next question. And that's our top 10 tips for live video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are back in our studio. And we're back. Cool. Welcome back. Were you suggesting it took too long? You were. No, no. <laughs> Telling me to cut. Um, okay, cool. We are back. That was our live top 10 tips. Uh, you can see them popping up recap. on the screen now. So maybe I'm just give them a recap of what those top 10 tips are in case they want to take notes. Yeah, so suspense is, you always want to create a sense of suspense in your videos. It kind of keeps people watching. It, it, it keeps uh, them wanting to see how the, how the video will end. Engagement, you always want to engage with that comment section, reply to them, have people suggest things to you. It's at the intersection of suspense and engagement where you really have your really good sweet spot for lives. Um, you want to get out of the studio. The fact that you are on a mobile means that you can be mobile. It means that you can go out and shoot, uh, and shoot a live. It means that if you are um, covering up the competition for world skills, it means that you can be at the world skills competition and, and, and going live from there instead of from an office. Um, you wanna change the format. So we're not, we're not looking for head and shoulders, TV type um, videos. We're looking for something different, for uh, uh, different personalities, big, bold personalities on camera. Schedule, you always wanna schedule your lives and you wanna schedule it using all of your other platforms, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Snapchat, whether it's stories. So you always wanna Schedule it across all of your platforms so you so your audience know, knows when to um, when tune to, in. When to, when to tune in. Exactly. Good internet. You always want to have make sure that you have good internet. You used to spoke about Wi-Fi assist. I'm going to show you that in a second. That takes the best of your Wi-Fi and your cellular data in that area. Or whichever one is best stronger. Yeah. Actually. Introduce the subject often. Um, radio people do this really well. And it's really on a live video, the same person that's watching two minutes in is not the same person watching 10 minutes in. So um, you really want to introduce the, su the subject often. Hey, we're doing a workshop on how to create amazing videos using just your mobile phones. Um, so you always want to reset the stage. Add text. 80% of your audience on a normal Facebook video are watching with the audio off. On a live, it's more like 90% people watching with the audio off. So you want to add text. The way to do that is 
uh, if you go to your Facebook, if you go to settings and Facebook, you'll see that there's a caption. Uh, I think YouTube's going to, yeah. Yeah, so, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll jump straight into an example. Um, and then timing, I would say minim minimum a Facebook Live video should be is, uh, so if we at least is at least 10 minutes. Yeah, so to give you an example of how we add uh, text uh, to a piece of uh, live video that's already up, you're going to go into your pages, whichever page you have. Um, I'm going to pull up a page now. Okay, it's taking a little while to pull up, so I won't bring it up, but effectively, you bring, bring, pull up your media library and you go to edit video and you auto generate and you add SRT subtitles and that's the top 10 tips for live video. Yeah, and then of course be cautious. Always think about whether you're filming kids or um, think about what you're filming before you put it live because there's obviously a responsibility that comes with live. I just want to show you guys very quickly the Wi-Fi assist. So if you go to your normal settings and you can see on the phone, I'll go to mobile data and right at the bottom you'll see something called Wi-Fi Assist. It's right there. And it says automatically use mobile data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. So you really want to use that just to make sure that you have good Wi-Fi. Cool. So that's the baseline of our pyramid. We're going to jump back into the pyramid to show you where we're going.